Well, perhaps first and foremost, I'm passionate about sharing what I've learned. I have a long experience on the bandstand and as a teacher, coming up to my 50th year. And I've been teaching for about 40 of those years. I have quite a varied playing history. As a soloist, an ensemble player in big bands, Broadway pit orchestras, and other settings too. I've spent a lot of time in recording studios too. I've played and studied a lot of different styles. I enjoy all music styles, and I feel my jazz skills have actually served me very well when I've gone to play in all these other different kinds of genres, also in my recording career so far. Um, I'm a people person. I have a whole person approach aimed at the individual. It's important to me to know what people are attracted to, what they like to play, what they like to listen to, what they feel good at. And I like to tap into that person and be the best help I can. And I like students to discover for themselves. I'm very much into the doing and trying school. Jazz is not so much about perfection as it is about exploration. And I try to make it as comfortable as I can for students to try stuff with me and not feel they have to be perfect because I'm not. <laughs> I generally always weave in melody, rhythm and harmony into my practice systems because they're all important. I also like to include less talked about things like the history of the music, the swing, the groove, why the music makes you feel good. Take a look at my YouTube page, it's called Shedding with Brand. You know, there's maybe some stuff in there that's a little advanced, but you know, you get a sense of my personality and my style. I've taught teachers over the years. I love the passion, and I love knowing that they're gonna be passing this on to their own students. Well, as you can tell, I'm a older person. Uh, I have 22-year-old twins. I'm comfortable with younger people, older people, and all ages in between. I have an easygoing, energetic approach, as you can probably tell. I like to have fun. I've studied with great players, and especially here in New York City. Many years ago, I attended the Barry Harris workshops, and years before that, I studied with Warren Marsh and Eddie Daniels. I studied at Manhattan School of Music. Several teachers were great standouts, Bob Mensah being one of them. And I met Gary Dial there and I became a student in the school of Gary Dial, which led me to experience a lot of the systems that Charlie Benarcos passed down to Gary. And, you know, inspired by these great teachers and stuff that I've learned on the bandstand, I have become rather obsessive about creating practice systems for people. How it might work for them, how I can tailor it for the individual, whether they're beginners or more intermediate players or more advanced players. I've lived in New York City now for 35 years, and, you know, what does that really mean? Well, you know, the tradition and the pace um, and the energy of New York lives on and lives inside of me. And I'm certain some of that can rub off on, on you as well. <laughs> well, first, I would expect a student to have a lot of fun and be inspired. I've worked simultaneously inside the music world and outside the music world. So I have a good sense of the demands of daily life, the commitments, family commitments, work, etc. And just because you don't do it for a living or full time doesn't mean that you can't be a great player. I think it's important for a student to be able to find time every day if possible, even just a little bit of time to work on this craft and work through uh, a system you know, the repetition in jazz is so important. Jazz, like any other music or any other great pursuit, is effortful. Well, you know, I think a basic proficiency on an instrument or voice, uh, some basic knowledge of music would be helpful. You know, just basic theory, the notes, what they look like on paper, on a keyboard, what they sound like. I would hope that students have tried to play by ear, um, 
know a little bit about scales, maybe even a little bit about chords. And if not, then they should definitely target the more fundamental jazz theory track that we have here. And I can certainly help with all of that. Oh, and I think one important thing is to have access to a piano or a keyboard. You know, it doesn't have to be fancy. Oh, and some blank music paper, which you can find for free and print up at any time, and a pen, because I do like my students to actually write things down. Um, well, you know, I'm constantly learning alongside my students. It just never stops.